It's Rita. How are you? Let me see who's on today. Hi, Diana. Hi, Leslie. Hey, Leslie, did it snow your way? Um, we didn't get any snow over here on the coast, but let's, um, you live cl more inland, so I'm wondering about that. Hi, Anna Marie. Hi, Deborah. Hello, Melinda from Lynchburg, Virginia. How are you? Um, let's see. Good morning. Freezing rain. Oh, is that Shelly? It says shells. Is that Shelly Heatherton? You got freezing rain there? Ah, uh, what a bummer, huh? Uh, Barbara, I love good snowfall. <laughs> I know. We, they expected, I got a, a message yesterday that was going to be like three or four inches of snow. And I live on the coast, so that gets affected a lot. Um, I don't know, Peabody becomes kind of a weird, like, epicenter of flooding. <laughs> so, um, no new snow yet. But there was a big storm over the holidays, right, you guys? Hi, Gail. Hi, Irma. And who else is here? Any? Hi, Annie from Germany. Welcome. Hey, I guess we are international now, you guys. Um, all right. So let me just get started. Good morning. It is Friday. So there are some really fun things about Friday now. Friday is when we pick a winner of somebody who's following me on Cricut Community um, to receive a Cricut Cutie plus a bunch of stuff from my studio. So um, that's today. I'll announce who that is um, in, in a few minutes. Yep, cutie alert. And then also, I decided this week that Fridays are going to be about the joy. Good morning, good morning. Who's that, Cheryl? Hi, Cheryl. So Fridays are going to be about the joy. And um, we all love this little machine. Not all of us have it, but I feel like I... I do all these projects and I do them all in the maker and I really want to give some some time to our joy machines and uh, let you know what they can do because they're pretty awesome um, and, but they have certain parameters that you have to follow right and you'll have more joy in your life so this morning we're actually going to be doing a project that is also a bit experimental um, yesterday we had an infusible ink experiment go on and that was really popular. So, um, so I, I also want to sort of work in a day that we can do, um, ideas like just sort of, you know, crazy, maybe Pinterest inspired ideas. So today, this morning, I was actually looking, um, on Pinterest and I, I bought, for some reason, I bought one of these Jenga towers, and um, I am looking for crafts to do with this Jenga towers, and then I just found out that um, Dollar Tree has a similar thing, and so I guess it's the $1.25. I paid probably, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks or more for this Jenga, um, and if you don't know what Jenga is, it's a pretty fun little pro uh, little pro game, but there seems to be a lot of different uh, projects for it. So, so in addition to Friday being about joy, I want to make one day a week about Pinterest inspired. So, and one of them will be this Jenga thing. So we'll do a Pinterest inspired cricket craft every week. I'm going to say on, um, on Thursdays, but that's up to you. What do you guys think? Is Thursday okay for you? Um, oh, there's Shirley. Is Shirley here? And Penny's here. The pieces are smaller, says Brenda at Dollar Tree. All right. So why don't we do Wednesdays is Pinterest and uh, Fridays are Joy. And then the other days, you know, I'll come up with things for the other days, Monday, Tuesday, um, Monday, Tuesday. Maybe we should make Pinterest Thursday. 
Oh, I don't know. You guys figure it out. <laughs> um, it's perfect for keychains and little positive messages. Okay, I'm okay with that. I can go to the Dollar Tree and see if they have it. Um, and yeah. So I hope you all are good. Today we're going to be doing this with the joy. Now, I do have a few different ideas. And um, I mentioned that there were... there. There were some things that I was experimenting on this morning. So this is what we came up with. Um, I wanted to use this stuff, which is sparkle. This is called holographic sparkle um, iron-on. This is not the vinyl. It's iron-on, okay? And I I got this. I don't know when, but it, it was kind of recently. I'm thinking it might have been in a mystery box, but I'd have to go back and check. But um, it's available here in this primary sampler, but it's also available in individual colors. But um, I, I'm thinking maybe this was in a mystery box. Does anybody remember? Um, oh, I'll have to check them out, Barbara. But you're not going to go there instead of me, right? Because I'd miss you, Barbara. Um, okay, so anyway, this is this is Sparkle Holograph, which is really cool, isn't it? I mean, look at how shiny and awesome it is. And so I thought, woo, let's do this and let's do a Joy Craft. So I came up with these that are, they're old. We've done them before, but... Um, but I just love them. They're so cute and they look so adorable with this. The only thing I didn't like about it is because this uh, holographic sparkle iron-on is so curly and the paper I chose in the back is rather thin. It's medium weight, but it caused my... Um, my cute little valentines to curl so then i started thinking about different things like what could i use i i was thinking about this smart paper sticker cardstock and i was like no that won't work because it's sticker cardstock so i'd have to stick it onto this and i didn't want to do that but this could be used on the top of the valentine for sure so then i went over to my little um stash area and i found a few things that i think would work so here i found some foil poster board this one is called the fairy tale sampler so i thought this would work because foil poster board is nice and thick you see so we can try that to keep the curling away and actually I did try it so I'm gonna see how that works out and then I also this is just um, this is a thick or cardstock it's by basil but I I don't think that that's gonna keep the curl it's not nearly as thick and then I've got Cricut yellow and Cricut white cardstock and then I found these this is called true brushed paper it's not really paper it's like a really thick um it's more like a foil it's more like a mm, poster board or something and then remember this stuff the holographic foil uh paper i don't know, craft i don't know what it's called craft or something then this is uh i think the metallic i don't know where that came from but anyway i thought we could try that for the bottoms Okay, and um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is using the mat and not using the mat because as I was doing this project, I found that you can um, put things through the machine that aren't smart materials, but they're the correct width and they still cut. So no, we don't really need these anymore well i don't want to say anymore but we don't need them for for this kind of project even though these are not smart materials these are just regular materials that i'm going to cut so that they fit in the joy and believe it or not i've tried it on a number of different things and it works so this is really cool um let us go to the project and it is in cricut Let's 
cancel out of this. It is in Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna be using my iPad for this. So um, what you want to do is look for me in the Cricut community, and you can do that on an iPad. Just wanna show you. Uh, if you go to view profile, this is my profile, you'll see I have, woo, I got more followers. Let's see how many followers I got. All right, we've got Sherry Howell, Sally Dunlap, Becky Mueller, Carla Vian, Viancourt, Valencourt or Va, Vian, um, I'm probably doing that wrong. Okay, we got Carolyn Wegmer, Karen Wink, Tiffany Clutter, uh, Dominique Bernadine from Ireland, and then we've got uh, someone named I Love Ireland from Ireland, Heidi Johnson, and Anna Garcia. So those people have joined the ranks of following us, and we're going to announce a winner from here um, later on, okay, in a little tiny bit, okay? So that's if you follow me. Now, if you are looking for where I got these images, Easy peasy, let me show you how to find them. We're gonna go here and we're gonna hit plus and we're gonna hit replace. Then we're gonna go to images. You see right here down to images. Oops, I did the wrong one. I pressed the wrong one, images. Okay, so on images, it's a little bit different than on our desktop. So I wanna show you how, if you wanted to look for an image set, how you could do that. And so we're going to touch on the, see these three lines, they're kind of faint. They have little circles in them. You're going to touch on that. And then you're gonna see categories and it says all, but you're gonna to touch on the all and then you're going to choose image sets, okay? And then just go back and back. And now you are just looking at the image sets and let's stop and appreciate that there are over 6,000 image sets now. Um, when this started, maybe there were a couple hundred. And uh, so they have been working very hard to add image sets. The image sets are not like categorized alphabetically, but if you know the name of the image set, that's how you can find it or you can scroll. I would not recommend scrolling, it takes too long. So this particular image set is called Spring uh, Cards. It's a spring, I forget what it's called, Spring cards and it's something that has been around for a long time. I've done these several times and I really love them. They're so much fun, but I never thought, here it is, spring holiday cards. You see that? Spring holiday cards. So I never thought, oh, you know, we could use iron on on this, but then I got the idea, iron on. So um, we would just pick any of these and you can see there's Easter, there's spring, there's Valentine's, there's uh, St. Patrick's Day. So let's choose, I don't know, let's choose a Irish at heart and we'll also choose uh, Valentine's Day. You're a fun guy. I don't know. Nah. How about we stick to Queen of My Heart? That sounds nice. Uh, cute as a bug, though. I really love that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll choose that one. Okay, so we'll choose two and we'll bring them into Design Space. Now, they come in really rather small, so you're going to make them bigger just so you can look at them. Okay, now there's a couple of things to know about these images. And one is, you see under, I'm gonna ungroup this. So when you ungroup it, under there, this is kind of like a tab that's on there, but we're not gonna need the tab. So we need to take those out because otherwise they're kind of gonna make our Valentine's not look very professional. So we're going to select that and we're going to choose right here, contour. See that? It's like a dashed circle. And you can see here, um, the, this is the main one and you can do this pinching and zooming, that sort of thing. But I'm just going to locate 
and touch on these. If you have a pencil, it's easier than using my pudgy little finger. So there we go. And now we've taken that out and here is how it's gonna look. Now we need to be careful. The second thing we need to, to be careful about when we're working with the joy is, um, is sizing. So let me go in here, ungroup this and do this one here. Just what we did, contour, take these out. Whoops, don't wanna take that out. Okay, there must be one showing and there it is, okay? So um, the, the other thing we need to be cognizant of when we are working with a joy is size. So the joy, um, it works off of a very small area right here, and it's actually five and a half inches wide. But if you're going to use, say, the, um, the, the what do you call this, mat, it's really actually four and a quarter. You see here, it's like one, two, three, four and a quarter. So um, that is sort of, unless the, um, unless the machine, well, no, actually, not really. I think, I'm, I'm thinking that you need to keep your, your size down to below four and a quarter, but it's only for one size. You can make the other size long. And that's how we do um, the smart vinyl, right? When we're doing it on the Cricut. So I just need to make sure both of my images are the right size. So I'm gonna select them both. I'm gonna do edit. And you see down here where it says width and height. I'm gonna unlock that. And the width, I'm gonna make four inches. And the height, I'm going to make five, I think. Five, four by five. That seems reasonable. Let's do the same thing here. Going to select these. We're going to group them. Then we're going to go to edit. And we'll change the width to four by height of five. Now I know they look kind of small, but it's just a screen. So you can just kind of do this, but be careful when you're moving it around that you don't want to change the change the, the height and the width because you could end up with a, um, with a problem and you have to go back. Now do make sure you save this. So I'm going to save this as, um, let's see, I'm going to go to my pencil and get my, there is my, um, keyboard and I'm going to save this as sparkle hello valentines okay it's important to save your work um and you can come back and change this if you want to so you don't feel like um, oh goodness, I changed, I named it wrong. And then I ended up having St. Patrick's Day here, right? And remember the naming is just about you, what you find um, the easiest way to find it in all of your projects. So that if you were to say, go here and look at my projects, you can see that I have some other ones here as well. See that? So anyway, that's a canvas. Now we're ready to make it. Make sure before you go hit make it, make sure that you have your joy set up as hol I'm sorry, to set up as Bluetooth. I'm like a holographic on the brain. So I need to go on my iPad, I need to go here to settings and I go to Bluetooth and then I make sure that my joy is connected. See there, my joy is connected. Sorry about my lighting, it's a little bit glaring, apologize. Okay, so um, my joy is connected as well as my Apple Pencil. And then I also need to make sure that I have my machine select, the proper machine selected on my profile. So here you go to machine setup and you choose joy. Okay, which I already have chosen. Now I can go ahead and hit make it. Okay, so you see here I have four mats. Now they are all saying without the mat. 
because I'm working on the joy, that sort of thing. Now, the top layer is going to be iron-on, so we need to change that. So we're going to look, we click on that little mat, and we're gonna look at each individual mat. I do like this part about um, the joy. We're going to mirror, okay? And the same thing here, mirror. But the paper, we don't have to mirror, okay? But you will notice that even though I'm going to use some paper or something, I'm not using smart material, okay? So here we go, hit next. And let's see which one comes up first. Okay, so this red is going to be the bottom layer, right? So just like this, in on this case, the red's the bottom layer, and then they got a different color red for this. So um, let's actually go over to do this one, which is the cute as a bug, okay? Now I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna choose all materials and I'm going to choose um, Smart Iron-On Holographic, okay? I'm also gonna give it a little bit of more pressure and I'm going to remember my material setting because I'm going to be cutting this out of two of them. Before we go ahead and put it into the machine, let's cut it so that it will go into the machine and it will cut correctly. So here is, we're gonna do the red one. So here is my three sheets of Strong Bond. I already cut into the red one. So I'm going to save the blue one for some other time. And I am going to cut the red one. I'm going to make sure that it is five and a half exactly. So there is five and a half right there. And I'm going to cut this. This is a scrap. I've already cut one out of there. So I got two cuts out of one sheet. I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm gonna do five and a half. And another five and a half. With my little extra sheets left. Now while I have this on my workspace, let's take some of these things as well and cut them, okay? So like, this is called True Brush. Um, metallic paper and I'm going to cut this at five and a half and we're going to try it to see if it will cut inside the joy or in the joy uh, without a mat. So we'll have that and let's also get was that let's do this. This is the foil poster board again five and a half. Okay you'll have these little scraps don't throw your scraps away Give them to your best friend, which I do, and she makes things out of them. So now I have red, green, sparkle, I, spark girl, holocaust, iron on, holocaust, no, holographic, wow, dumb. And then I have these three pieces of um, thicker than cardstock paper, also cut at five and a half inches. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get our joy out. And we're going to do this smart iron on. Now, I know it's not smart iron on. However, um, it is it is iron on holographic. And you're going to put this in actually with the pretty side face down. And we just guide it through here. Look, no mat. No mat, so I think that's really cool. Once the machine does the um, measuring, we're gonna hit go and see what happens. <laughs> Hi, Tian. Oh, that's great. Hold on to your seat. I have time. I have time to become warm and fuzzy with your cricket. I love it. 
Isn't this group great? It's just a fabulous group, and I'm so glad that you guys have um, been following me. And we also, you are, you're in a group that send each other scraps. Oh my God, I love it. We should do that. Oh, we should do that. That would be so much fun. Um, you retired this week, Deanne. Woo, woo. Awesome. You can join us now. Yeah. We have so much fun here. We really do. Now, I apologize for folks that had to come over to the dark side, which is YouTube, from Facebook. They're in their little Facebook group, you know, they're on Facebook and they're like, oh, why can't you do Facebook, which is what we were doing for a long time. However, um, I had some problems with my streaming software that allows me to do both at one time. And so um, I need to... I need to sort that out. However, uh, I get so busy, I haven't done that yet. So I'm hoping within the next week or two, we might be able to be streaming again on both platforms. Okay, while I'm talking, it, it finished up. You see on my screen, it says unload. So I hit okay. And there it is. I know you can't see it too, too well, but we're gonna go keep moving on here, okay? So this is Smart Iron Holographic. We don't wanna do that. We wanna do the Irish at Heart Smart Iron on Holographic. So now we'll take the green and we'll put it into here. And then we're gonna hit go. So what are we, the, all the retired people? <laughs> That's okay. They ignore us, so I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so I know you can't really see this too well, but while this is cutting out, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to have to change and get some a little more lighting here. But um, it didn't use all of it, so I'm going to just try to cut close to the edges, and then I can give these scraps, like I said, to your friend. Um, which my friend is Christine Bartholomew, who I, I have to get in touch with her. Oh my gosh, I run out of time. Okay, so now what we need to do while that's cutting out is we need to go ahead and weed this. And it's a little bit different um, to weed. Oh, Melinda, no, but that's why we craft, right? Oh, Cheryl. Join the club. Oh my gosh. I when it's when I just get bored I buy stuff online. And and then I get an idea and I'm like, oh yeah. But then I have to wait for that idea for those things to come in for me to do the idea. And so then they all um they all sort of pile up on each other and and then I'm like, oh I forgot that I had that Jenga. You know what I mean? So here I am weeding it, and I will tell you it's a little bit different to weed uh, than regular iron-on. It's not stretchy, you see? It's not really stretchy. Um, it is kind of foil-based, so you have to be careful with the weeding, and you'll get used to it, but I just wanted to mention that that is a possibility. So I'm going in, and I'm weeding away all the parts that I don't need, the parts that the Cricut has cut out, all right? And this one says cute as a bug, so I need to weed out the letters, and that's what I'm doing right here, weeding out the letters. Okay, now we finished up our, there we go, and we finished up this and we finished this so we hit okay next up is our paper okay so you ready for your minds to be blown um look what i found out we're gonna just go to smart iron on holographic and instead of having it be without the mat as smart i'm actually going to go back and I am going to go to those mats and I am going to, whoop, I can't do it here. I actually have to hit cancel. And then from here, I am going to hit on mat, okay? 
I forgot to mention that. So we're going to hit on mat. Now, when you do that, you're assuming you have to use a mat, right? Well, let me tell you, you don't, as long as your materials are five and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna, now I can go to all materials and I can look up what this, what this paper is actually. So this is called True Brushed Paper. So you can see here, True Brushed Paper. We're gonna choose that. And then as is my, um, as is my hobby, <laughs> I always add more pressure. I'm not really sure why I do that. But anyway, let's try this out. Isn't this cool? I'm like, I was like, whoa, <laughs> I can't wait to tell the ladies. So we're gonna put that in. It is cut at five and a half inches, but it is not listed as a without the mat. It's not a smart material, okay? And then we're gonna hit go and see what happens. It's working! Isn't that great? Now, if you should have a problem with it not cutting straight through because for whatever reason, maybe your, your um, blade is a little dull, um, you can put this through a second time. Um, but I think it looks to me like it's cutting through. I don't know. Let's see. It looks like it's cutting through, but yeah, it does look like it's cutting through. So let's take it out and see what happens. Wow. It's a lit. It's not like a super clean cut. I'm glad I put the more on there. But look at that. That's nice and thick. Let's do the next one, which is going to be this one. And we're going to choose, let's see, we'll do this poster board next, okay? So we'll call this foil poster board. And then we're going to put more pressure, which we did. Um, and we're going to try this one in here. So let's press that in there and hit go isn't this fun now while we do um while we let that cut out we need to cut out our um our iron on so let me hit go there and again i'm going to use these pieces as scrap so i'm putting these over here for my friend christine all right now because it's iron on we're going to use iron on today and uh, and we're gonna use the mini, okay? So let's go ahead and hit okay and unload it. And again, it, I probably haven't changed my blade in a while on my Joy. I'm gonna need to probably change my blade, but it did come off pretty well. So now we have our two pieces of thicker uh, card, board card stock right we have our little um cute as a bug i also have some of these already uh weeded out but we have to weed this one and we're going to need to have something to um to do our mini on so if you were lucky enough to get a mini for Christmas or you got one whenever and you haven't used it a whole lot you, and you're now you're part of this team of people you are gonna need to get a what's called a pressing mat there is this one which is 8 by 10 and there's one that's 12 by 12 and um, I love these little mats. It protects my surfaces and everything. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the internet and we are gonna look for this called the Cricut Heat Guide. Just type in Cricut Heat Guide, okay? Now that you're at the Cricut Heat Guide, you'll see all of these and the middle one, even though it's a different color than what I have, this is called Zen Blue. 
The middle one is the same thing, but it's in pink. It's the same thing. Okay, so I chose that one. I know I chose it because it has this green line at the bottom. Then I'm going to go here and choose my um, material. So I'm going to look for holographic sparkle iron on. I'm going to choose that. And then for the base material, I am going to choose, um, it doesn't say paper here or anything. So I just choose cardstock. It doesn't say the different kinds of paper. And then you hit apply and you'll see preheat for five seconds, put it on low for 25 seconds. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this and turn it on to low. And now we'll get our area prepared. And we can do some iron on. All right. So here are all our bases. And because I cut these all out the same size, I can mix and match the bases. Do note that if you don't want to use iron-on, you can use uh, the sticker paper, which I showed you at the very beginning. So if you want to do the sticker paper, the thing about the sticker paper is it's not very fancy. Um, there, It's not very, you know, cool looking so if you really want that nice effect you do need to use some of these other papers okay but as i mentioned before um when i did this iron on see how it's curled because i used this thinner thinner than what we cut out but it, it was cardstock so um, we're going to try this on the heavier things like this this and this okay so let's take the first one we'll choose this one and we're going to choose whatever's on top here oh look at how cute be mine so I'm going to place it on my paper where I think it goes, which is sort of in the middle here. If it's useful to you, you can use the uh, tape. Where's my tape? Had it yesterday. If it's useful to you, you can use the tape, but you don't necessarily have to, but um, if it's useful to you. Since we're using the little guy, the little um, machine really don't need the tape but you want to make sure you hold this in place as you sort of get started on this and then once you kind of get started on it you don't have to hold it and then we're going to make sure that that 25 seconds is for the entire piece so I'm going to keep moving it around because I want it to be you know universally set I don't want parts of it not set. So I'm going to do it for 25 seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next one and allow this one to cool. Okay. So I think that's 25 seconds. Let's get the next one. We'll do this one. Oh, this is going to look so cute. And the thing I like about this is um, this there's room on the back to do like a to and from. Or you could even have your machine do it if you wanted to. Um, it, like if you wanted to make, I don't know, to sell um, a bunch of Valentines. Like I, I, I suppose that happens where people, they buy the Valentines. I, I can't stand the Valentines that are in the store. They're like... They're like this big with the little teeny tiny envelopes. I suppose kids don't mind, but for me, I mean, if you're gonna send a card, send a big card. <laughs> that's my that's my feeling about it. Is you know, the bigger the better. Go big or go home, that sort of thing. So um, let's continue on here. All right, see what I'm doing? Easy peasy, right? Oh, okay. So Annette had, had an issue as well with curling. And so we're gonna have a firsthand look at that as well, because I'm gonna do one on this regular yellow. All 
right? Luck of the Irish. So this one is on, these are, these two are on that foil poster board. And this one is on the uh, True Brushed Paper. I think it's called True Brush Paper. And then this one is just regular uh, Cricut cardstock. All right. And once we have all of them, and this would be a great project if you don't like to deal with glue, um, like liquid glue, because no gluing involved in this. So now that it's cooled off, we can uh, just peel this off, just like this. Isn't that great? Let me show you after I peel these all off. Oops, I see an error here. See that? That little piece, that's in error. I think I'm going to have to see if I can pull it up. I could reheat it and then pull it up. Or I could try to do it this way. I think I might have to reheat it. So let's reheat just that area. And you notice I put that plastic back as sort of a cooling area. And... I mean, sorry, as a protective thing. And let's see if I can't get this up better now. Yay, I did. It's going to leave a little bit of glue there, but looks better than the way it did. This gluey stuff is from the back of the iron-on. Not really sure what you do to get that up. But anyway, so there's that. And um, did we take this one off? Mm, yes, we did. And this one... Now this one isn't attached well, so I'm going to come and hit it again a little tiny bit more. This would be a great, you know, Saturday afternoon craft time um, where we can, you know, where you could sit with a grand or, oh, hi Santos here, Santos here. <laughs> Um, you can sit with a grand or your little ones or whatever. Or even like if you wanted to do something with Girl Scouts or something. Um, Girl Scouts kind of have like an, the, their shamrock theme. So maybe they want to do this. And I put this one on on Crooked. But you know what? I still think it looks pretty cute. And then let's take this last one off. Isn't that awesome? All right. I did a few. I did this one extra. But now this is my original design that I did on regular uh, cardstock. It curled. Now I could, um, if you did do it this way, you could just kind of try to uh, counteract that curl by like go folding it in the other, rolling it really in the other direction like that. And that might help. Or you could actually put it underneath something, uh, like maybe a big heavy book or some of our tiles there or whatever. And that could help with the curling. But this, I think, is better. So this is the poster board, you see? And that, I messed these both up because this one I put it on sort of crooked and this one I had that little thing. But the the bottom line is it's not curled up this is already starting to curl and if we left it just sitting here it would curl even more because i put it on a thinner paper and then this one i think is the best because it's really thick and it's got that nice brushed look here so that is this project do you love it do you love it um, okay. And let me just, yeah, they're really fun. I just, you know, so this is like one of those take an old dog and give him new tricks, right? And, uh, so that's what we're doing here. I really like this project. I, I hope that you come and get them. If you don't come and get them. Um, you can't, I showed you how to find them. We talked about this 
um, iron on, how to cut it in the joy. We talked about um, using thicker paper. So this is a great project to go into the weekend. I know it's a little early, but wouldn't it be nice if you got all your little uh, Valentine's Day done? All your Valentine's Day stuff done? I think so. Um, okay. So that is going to do it for my show, but I just remembered I forgot to call the name um, of the winner for this week. And I just want to go back and see if that person is here. I thought I saw. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. It's Cheryl Seidel. Cheryl Seidel, I think I have, I'm saying it, Seidel, yeah, Cheryl Seidel, guess what, you're this week's winner of a Crooked Cutie, so uh, that's great, you need to send me an email, Cheryl, um, to Rita to the rescue at gmail.com, also, would we like these sent out to people, would Somebody like these. I don't have. My son is too old to give out Valentine's. So I'd be happy to send these out. So why don't we pick oh, three winners. And I'll send you, you know, extras. So Loretta, can you pick three winners for, for these today? Um, and what else is there to know? So it's going on the weekend. So I, I don't have shows on the weekend, but do take a moment to go back into my YouTube channel and make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Let me get over to my YouTube channel from my iPad. Uh, where's my YouTube app? Okay, here, here's my YouTube app. And you're going to want to, um, see, we have 84 watching. Although on my thing, I thought we got close to, uh, close to 100. Yesterday, we were at 99 people. We almost hit 100. Isn't that great? So anyway, if you want to sign up and be a subscriber on my YouTube, all you need to do is go to your YouTube, whether it's the app or whatever, and you can do this search. And you can just type in either Miss Rita to the rescue, or you could type in Cricket Chat. All right, so you can do Cricket Chat or Cricket Miss Rita. So we're gonna click that and there, of course, is all the ads because they're trying to monetize their site. But there I am, Cricket Chat with Miss Rita. And what you have to do is you just have to, you know, it's going to look slightly different than because this is me. So why don't we go over and choose somebody else? Now, who all else that we are following? How about we look for... I think we should look for the Crafty Chica, which is um, Crafty Chica is a fellow, a fellow product expert. Her name is Ashley Markham and nope, that's not her. What is her website name? Crafty Chica. No, where is she? Um, let's go back. Maybe she changed the name. Let's look at Carol. So go to Carol, C-A-R-O-L-E, and you'll see Carol's Cricut Crafts. So if you're on Carol's Cricut Crafts, you would click on this link and you would do subscribe. So you can do all notification, personalized notification or no, and then you'd hit subscribe. So I am a subscriber and you can see here that she has listed me under hers. So, all right, there it is. It's the Thrifty Chica. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm so subscribed already. And let's have a look at our other friends. There's uh, Abigail from Sassy Ranita Crafts. 
and there is April from Crafting with April, and I'm already subscribed to all these ladies. And this one is a new one, Narell, the non-crafty crafter. She's new, and I'm subscribed to her. And who else is here? That's it. This, and regular, obviously, there's regular Cricut ones that you can subscribe to. But hopefully ours are a little more personable. And I hope that you subscribe to those channels. That Those are my friends, also Cricut product experts. So that's all I have for you for today, but do check on the uh, Cricut Chat YouTube channel and you can come here and see under past live streams, you can watch all the things we did this week, which we did this Hello Valentine iron-on, remember that? We did that round iron-on card. We did our little uh, let it snow infusible ink on wood. This is part one of the infusible ink on wood. Here, if you missed this, this was a really awesome program called Positive. I, I forget what I called it, but it's like Positive Affirmations on alcohol, apple bleh, on alcohol inked tile. So that is, that's what these are. That's a great one to watch. If you're just kind of sitting around, you want to watch a video, then you can do that on my site. So I thank you all for your time and your attention. Um, and, and, uh, oh, did, oh, Laurie Joe's here. Laurie Joe, did you get your machine? Um, uh, do I love my pencil? Okay. So, to talk about my iPad and my pencil, um, first of all, this is the first generation I, uh, pencil. I didn't realize I had a choice, I didn't have a choice because my iPad is, you have to go in and look on your settings and you have to find out what machine you have. So you have to look here and see here, it says model name iPad ninth generation. And that is how you find out if you need the first or the second generation of the pen, of, of the pencil. The other thing I don't like about the pencil is they give you this little tiny thing to cover this. Um, and I lose it. In fact, I think Lola ate the first one. I have two of these. Lola ate the first one and then I lost the second one within a week. And the reason why is you're always taking it off and then you actually charge it by putting it into your iPad just like this. So you can see, this is how you tell if your pencil is charged. So mine is 41% charge. So there is a way that you can charge this without using the iPad, but you still need to have this exposed, okay? So this has to be charged, and then you have to go to Bluetooth and make sure that it's connected, okay? and. Um, it's okay. I, I like it. For me, I like to do um, crossword puzzles. They're my favorite. And so at night when I'm relaxing, and yes, I do relax, I, I downloaded this website called Jigs. It's called Jigsaw. I don't know what it's called. Why isn't the name on here? I don't know. Let's see. Jigsaw Collection HD, I think it's called. Anyway, they give you a free puzzle every day. So I play that free puzzle. The only thing I don't like is this stupid advertisement. I hate it because they always show the women as being like, nothing without a man. I hate it's like, come on, this is possible. And so it makes uh, moving around these pieces, especially if you have chubby fingers like me, it makes moving around the pieces so much easier. Now my sister, who turned me on to the puzzle app, uses a stylus and she says it works just the same. So it's probably just an issue of do you want to get the pencil or do you want to get another stylus? I 
I, I do all Apple, so I got all Apple stuff. But she uses a stylus, and she also has, like me, has the Apple Watch and the Apple EarPods and stuff like that. But the stuff, she doesn't want the pencil. I don't know why, but, and she's usually pretty meticulous. So, anyway, I like it to do my puzzles, but I still just kind of, um, I just kind of surf the internet using my fingers most of the time. So I got to turn off this. All right, that's going to do it for me for today. This weekend, I am going to be in, let's see, I'm going to be in downtown Peabody, but not in the square. I'm going to Tilly's Farm. If you're lo local, um, you can come down to Tilly's Farm. It starts at 430. It's a city bonfire. They do this every year. They couldn't do it. I don't think they did it for COVID. So it's kind of like back. And um, people have dropped off their trees days ahead. And they're going to the fire department. And I forget who else. There's two two departments that run it. Maybe the rec department. And they're going to have like hot cocoa and um, different like treats and stuff like that. And it's a family friendly event. Um, and it's from 4.30 to 7.30 outdoors. And I haven't seen a bonfire in a really long time. So I keep telling everybody in my family, want to go to a bonfire? Want to go? So if they don't come with me, I'm still going to go. Right? <laughs> um, and, then, and then I'm still trying. I have chubby fingers too. I'm still trying to um, get my... 3,000 steps in on my phone. Uh, so I got this and now I'm obsessed. I got this phone and I downloaded, this is an Apple Watch. It's not really a phone. It works with your phone. And um, I downloaded, this is the only thing I know how to do is look at my steps. So, so far today, I have already walked 1,700, and 1700 steps. So it's 0 0.8 miles, and my goal has been three, but yesterday I had 4,500. So I think I might have to up my goal a little bit, don't you? Um, all right, everyone. That's going to do it for me. Uh, bon appetit. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, he just took the dogs for a walk. I was going to go with him. I'm not going to get my steps in now. Oh, going to have to go and take the dogs for another walk. Anyway, all right, you guys, love you all, and I hope you have a great weekend, and that's it. Keep keep crafting with those crickets. Keep cutting with your crickets. Bye.